Hey guys, Dan here. Um, in my series here to help you become a better angler, I want to talk to you a little bit today about fishing hooks. Now there's basically two styles of hooks that we use here in Southern California all the time. And uh, there's lots of different styles of hooks, specialty hooks, like using ghost shrimp and other treble hooks and stuff like that. Um, but for their everyday fishing, doesn't matter if you're tuna fishing, calico bass fishing, barracuda fishing, rock fishing. There's two basic hook designs that we use every day here. And it's pretty simple. One is the J hook, and that's what this is here. A big J hook. It looks like a J, so that's why it's called a J hook. The other hook is a circle hook. And the circle hook, this is it. has a big circle in it. And I'll give you a better look of it in a second. But... Um, these hooks work really good when you're going after fish that have lots of teeth or you're fishing super, super deep. All right, so to give you a close-up look, kind of like on what these look like, this again is the J hook. Just looks like a J. And this is the circle hook. And it looks more like a full circle. And it's not going to be a full circle because the fish have to bite it, but that's a circle hook. All right, give you a good idea. Let me see if I can hold it up a little bit closer to the camera. There you go. There's a circle hook. There's the J hook. Give you a little better idea. Okay, so you're asking why a circle hook, why a J hook? When would you use them? So it's pretty simple. When you're fishing for fish that have lots of teeth, fish like barracuda, um, even bluefin tuna. That's when you want to use a circle hook. You want to use a hook that the fish isn't going to, when you set the hook on the fish or you hook the fish, the fish isn't going to have the hook deep in its stomach where it can cut through your line. With a circle hook, you put the bait on, you cast it out, the barracuda picks it up, it runs with it. You want that hook to go into the fish's body. And then you put the reel in gear, let the fish swim away for you. This hook comes out of its body and gets it in the corner of the jaw right there. And what's nice about that is because the line is outside of the fish's body, he can't cut through your line with his teeth. And you have a good chance of landing the fish. If a, a barracuda, big barracuda, any barracuda swallows your hook, there's a good chance he's going to bite through the line and you're going to lose the fish. Same thing with tuna. And that's why back in the day, lots of guys that went barracuda fishing used wired leaders so the fish couldn't cut through. But they were using J hooks. If you just go with the circle hook, you don't have to worry about that. Another situation where you want to use the circle hook is rock fishing. You're fishing 200 feet, 400 feet, and like we're going to learn this season, fishing over 600 feet deep, you're going to need a circle hook. A circle hook works great when you're down that deep. You're not going to really feel the bite that good. And down that deep, you might have some stretch with some monofilament on there. You want to use, you know, the spectra, the um, stuff like that. Uh, a non-monofilament line like Dacron. And it doesn't stretch when you're rock fishing. And that gives you the best chance to hook the fish and feel anything happening down there. But with the circle hook, when you're down that deep, the fish is going to attach himself to it. And same thing, fish is going to try to get away. Hook's going to get them in the corner of the jaw. And you're going to hook the fish. You know, back in the day when uh, the natives, the Native Americans, the Indians would fish. And the natives up in Alaska, the Eskimos, would fish. They all used a circle hook. And the reason they used a circle hook was they could set up a line, 10 hooks, 20 hooks, whatever they were using, and stretch it out put bait on each one, and most of them were made out of bone back then. And then they could just tie it up. They could go on with their day, go hunting, go collect wood, do whatever they had to do uh, back at home, and come back, check their lines. And with the circle hook, because you don't set the hook on the fish, the fish would attach themselves, and they'd catch their fish. Commercial fishermen still use them today. And again, they work really, really good for barracuda, uh, bluefin tuna, and uh, bonita, rockfish, they work really, really good. And again, you can use that for just about any situation that you're fishing. Another nice time to use uh, circle hooks 
if you have people that don't know how to fish, they're just learning how to fish. They don't know when to set the hook on a fish. Put a circle hook on their line and just tell them when the fish runs, let it run for about seven, eight seconds, 10 seconds, put the reel in gear and just hold on. And when the fish, you know, runs with it, that hook is in its stomach with the circle hook. And when the fish goes to swim away from it, it's going to come out its mouth and hook it in the corner of the jaw and your, you know, your friends, your kid doesn't have to worry about setting the hook. The fish will attach itself. And that's when we use the circle hook. Now the pretty simple hooks, again, let me, uh, show you what they look like and it's really important that you're you understand the difference between a circle hook and a j hook and that'll give you a good look at what they are okay again that circle hook is when you're fishing with critters with uh, lots of teeth and when you're fishing down super super deep they really really work good okay hopefully that helps out um the two, the, the big differences when you're fishing them is just remember when you use a J hook, and again, this is a J hook. When you're using a J hook, you have to set the hook on the fish. And we'll talk later about how to set the hooks on fish. We're not just want to talk to you about the hooks. With a circle hook, you do not set the hook on the fish. It's really important that you let the fish hook itself. And that's where you just put it in gear, fish swims away from you, and he's going to hook himself. In one of the future videos, I'll talk to you about how to set the hook on the fish because that's really, really important. Today, I just want to talk to you about the hooks. All right, don't forget to join me every Tuesday and Thursday night right here on YouTube. And I do YouTube Live and you can ask more questions. And in this series, I'll be doing more subjects, more different um, things about fishing to help you become a better angler. If you have any questions or leave a comment down below about other subjects you want me to cover, please do that there. All right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye everybody.